Welcome to the Uncorked video blog. Today we've got a really, really special episode. Last Christmas, my editor got me a bottle of wine. Very thoughtful, nice guy, got me a bottle of wine. And I thought today that we'd taste it. I thought also that I'd taste some other similar wines to that. So let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> These wines have all been properly chilled at the, the temperature for serving. I have a spit bucket, I think I'm going to need it tonight. And let's start with the first one. Uh, the first bottle of wine that we have, yes, is the American classic Thunderbird. I've never had Thunderbird. I'm actually terrified of trying it, but we're going to go ahead, if I can get it open. This stuff has 17% alcohol, so it can mess you up pretty fast. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Well, I can smell it from here. It basically smells like alcohol. A little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol, actually. God, I hope this stuff doesn't make me go blind. Why? It's potent. Well, let's, <clears throat> let's give this stuff a try. Salute. Mmm. 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 Yum. Wow. Um, this stuff is very sweet. It's like cough syrup. It's very much like cough syrup. It's, uh, boy, I get quite a rush just from that. Cough syrup. Definitely. It's really thick. It's full of alcohol. That's, um, <clears throat> That's some pretty strong stuff. Yeah, I'm going to give that, um, let's just say it's off the scale. That stuff is way off the scale. <clears throat> Thunderbird, my God. Okay. <clears throat> Moving, <clears throat> now that was the most expensive wine, $3.69 a bottle, that I'm going to taste today. So let's move down the line a little bit to um, another classic. Boone's Farm Strawberry Hill. Yes, this is a classic that everybody drank when they were in high school. Um, the alcohol content on this, only 7.5%, so it's about half, less than half what the Thunderbird has. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Boone's Farm, a Thunderbird with something else. Ooh. Okay, aroma wise strawberries. Well, they don't call it Strawberry Hill for nothing, that's for sure. It's definitely got the aroma of strawberries. Actually, not strawberries, but strawberry candy, like uh, strawberry cotton candy or strawberry, um, oh, there's like um, some kind of candy that has like a strawberry gooey center to it. I don't remember what that is. It's like, all right, let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm. It's, um, it's fizzy. I didn't know that. He said, remember that? Yeah, it's got a fizz to it. It's like um, strawberry soda with a little bit of alcohol in it. It's kind of like a wine cooler. Um, certainly a different creature from the Thunderbird, where the Thunderbird is obviously, that's just cough syrup. The purpose of that is to get you messed up. This is, you know, something that um, has a really dreadful aftertaste of this stuff. Um, okay, enough of that. Yikes. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have a little bit of water. So far, we're batting a thousand here. All right, moving right along. Uh, that was a $2.99 uh, a bottle. Now we go to, I've never had this, Riuniti Lambrusco. Soft red wine from the heart of Italy. I have no idea what this is like, whether it's any good. It's $2.50 a bottle for a 750 milliliter bottle. Let's go ahead, give this a try. The classic Italian, that's what it says. All right, I'm looking forward to this. Let's see if this actually has some color. Well, this actually has some color. It looks like wine anyway. Let's try it. Let's see what the... Uh, this actually almost smells like wine, uh, almost. Um, there's a little bit of um, like raspberry fruit roll up, turpentine, paint thinner turpentine, something like that. Yeah, raspberry fruit roll up and turpentine, that's kind of what it is. All right, let's give this a, not, not obviously the best
Mm. Oh, it's very sour. It's like a, it's like a wine that's gone bad. It's very sour, not quite vinegary, sort of vinegary, but it's got sweet, it's sweet too. So it's got a really bad combination of sweet and sour. Um, yeah, yeah. That, um, that's actually the worst one yet, I think. A little bit of fr a little bit of frizzante. <laughs> that's the stuff to give to somebody that you don't like. That was really bad. That was really, really bad. Okay, let's finish this off with the best of the best. I've never had this stuff before. It's actually quite ingenious. I'm sure I'm going to pour this stuff all over myself. Franzia Sunset Blush ah, Box Wine. Five liters of wine, which is about six and two thirds bottles of wine, all for $10.99. So that's like a buck and a half a bottle. So let's see if I can do this without pouring wine all over myself. Oh, look at that. That was easy. Wow. At least they make this stuff approachable, huh? Okay. All right. This one almost actually smells like wine. It has a light uh, aroma. Yeah, it smells like a light white wine, like a Sauvignon Blanc or something like that. Nothing, nothing fancy. Um, it's the only one that doesn't smell medicine-y, though. Okay, or like candy. So let's give it a taste. Well, real strong hit. Oh, yeah, that's sour. Real strong hit of citrus flavors right at the beginning, right up front. But it quickly turns sour and bitter. I don't know how people can drink this stuff. Boy, this is nasty. I don't know. It says table wine with natural flavors. I'm not really sure what the natural flavors are, but it's very citrusy, um, grapefruity, kind of fake citrus added to it. Um, it gets really sour, really wretched sour aftertaste. That stuff is just nasty. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to rate these. Um, I'm going to rate them. I'm not going to give them numeric scores. It's just not possible. I'm going to rate the best one as the Boone's Farm. It's the least objectionable. You, this is something you could actually, some people could actually sit and sip without getting sick to their stomachs. Next, and surprising, only because the other two were so bad, is Thunderbird. Um, this stuff is just basically cough syrup. Um, it's very medicine-y, but it isn't as sour as the uh, Rioniti and the um, Franzia, which were just incredibly sour. Uh, third best, I'm going to give the Franzia. It's actually really bad. The, the only reason why it's not the worst one is because this one is easily the worst one. This is just disgusting wine. All of these are terrible. None of them are actually drinkable in any sort of sense of the word. I can't imagine that people actually drink these things. That's stunning. I'm Tony Dunn, drinking the wines that you would never want to drink. Thank you, and I'll see you next time on the Uncorked Video Blog.